Okay, so now we've got a bit more complex situation. We've got the battery disconnected with the capacitor plates in the original position, and we're wanting to separate the plates and then look at the work done. So, <coughs> first I think we need to understand what's going on, what's constant and what's not constant. So here's the original position, um, and we've got charge stored on here. Here's a voltage across it if we were to measure it. And um, then we've got the, and that's with the uh, distance number one. Then we've got distance number two, where we've separated the plates um, to a wider distance. And um, now the charge, there's nowhere for the charge to go, so the charge is still going to be the same. Whereas in the previous example, connected to the battery, it was the voltage was the same, and that led to um, a change in the charge as the capacitance altered. Um, so um, if we were looking at the voltage across this we want to know whether the voltage is going to change. So charge um, that is going to have no change. Capacitance is going to decrease and how do we know if the voltage will change? Well um, the, the capacitance, uh, sorry, yeah capacitance is the charge over the voltage um, since our capacitance has decreased uh, and our charge is the same, that means our voltage must actually increase. Which seems just a little bit strange until you think about it as um, perhaps a uh, with electric field in mind. Let's just look at this. There's an electric field present in between these plates. And um, we're moving the plates apart. So if we consider one in a fixed position and the other one moving, um, and if we consider that moving thing away in, in the electric field as a point charge, when you move a point charge in an electric field, um, you are, say if it's a, um, a positive charge, and if you shift that, you're increasing the electric potential energy. So energy is increasing. And that means, remember voltage is the amount of energy per charge, so that means the voltage is actually increasing. So that's good to know. So voltage is changing anyway, which means, because um, remember we're looking at work, work is the change in energy, and we've got the expression for energy being half uh, QV, um, but in our voltage is changing, so we need an expression for that in terms of um, other things. Because um, previously our voltage was constant and it was our capacitance, um, only that was changing. So, uh, what have we got? If we rearrange this formula here, we get V equals uh, <laughs> Q over C. Yep, that's right. Um, so this ends up being uh, half Q squared over C. And remember C has got, um, that's our capacitance formula, so we can substitute in, uh, are we, are we, do we still have an air gap? We're assuming there's an air gap, I guess. Um, so epsilon naught A over D, we have to substitute that in um, to our half QC squared, uh, half Q squared over C thing here, which will give us an expression for the energy being um, half uh, Q squared uh, D over Epsilon naught A. So where does that 2 fit in? That 2 is just going to fit in here and we can just cancel that out and make it nice and easier. So that's our expression for the energy and we're after the change in the energy. So because um, the distance is going from, and this change in energy so it'll be D2 minus D1. Um, that's what we're going to look at. So anyway let's look at this uh, change in energy which is equal to the work uh, work done is Q squared D2 over 2 epsilon naught A minus Q squared D1 over 2 epsilon naught A uh, drawing everything out the front uh, we end up with Q squared uh, over 2 epsilon naught A, because those are all constant, D2 minus 
d1. Okay, now, in the earlier example, um, it was a loss of energy, because we're connected to the battery, but in this one it's a gain of energy. Um, so we don't need to put a negative in there anywhere. Um, if you remember in the other one, um, there was a, uh, it was actually d1 minus d2, rather than d2 minus d1, and that was just purely to do with um, whether it's negative uh, energy or positive energy, gain in energy, loss in energy. Uh, in this case it's definitely a gain in energy, because you're increasing your voltage. Um, and I think that let me just have a quick check in the answers, but I think that is the expression we're after. Half Q squared uh, D2 minus D1 over. Yep, that's fantastic. So we've reasoned this out nicely. If you didn't follow all those steps, go back, watch the video again.